it means um, a huge drive inside of yourself that um, really doesn't care about any circumstances or anywhere you came from. This is what you want. You want to work, work hard on that and it's inside you. It really comes from my family and from how I was brought up and I never felt like just because I was a girl I couldn't do things or just because I was from a small town in Czech Republic I couldn't do things. Um, my parents were amazing. Um, I think that's that's why but partially it's also me because I love learning new things and I love exploring and then the more of that you do the more you find out what's out there and the more things you want to do and you achieve your first few things and you discover like oh it's going somewhere and you just keep going. You say your parents were amazing, what do you mean by that? What did they do that helped you to be ambitious? Um, they helped me discover um, anything I was into really. My dad especially, he um, loves learning himself and so he always really encouraged me to learn and explore and it could be anything, it could be chess, it could be foreign language, it could be skiing um, and I think it's really through him. Um, that he showed me so many different things and supported me in the ones that I loved. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that's kind of my base. I work at a big tech company and there are a lot of them. Uh, there are a lot of amazing people who would have never got where they are without this huge drive and it's really hard to put on a finger on one, but it would be one of them. I knew people who became a director within an extremely short time, again, without ambition, they wouldn't have got there. I'm originally from the Czech Republic and I spent some time in New Zealand and my husband is New Zealander and in both places, it's not really that popular to be ambitious, right? It's like, well, that person's just trying too hard or you get this label of like, oh yeah, it's the career woman or whatever. So I think that celebration of ambition within the broader culture would have helped me earlier on. So you think in, in Czech Republic and in New Zealand it's it's not a good thing to be ambitious? Often it's not a great thing and especially for women. Right. Um, that's what I felt, especially yeah. where I'm from in Czech Republic. And I think in New Zealand it's a little different, but there are signs of that doll probably seed syndrome as well a little bit. So um, yeah, it's interesting. I feel people are ambitious, but they have to sort of like hide it so that they are socially acceptable. I haven't lived in the Czech Republic the last five years, but every time I go back, I feel that um, it's getting better. Um, you know, the young generation that travels a lot is bringing a lot of great change um, to the country. But I think historically, there is a problematic relationship with success because people who are successful in the past days usually had to be collaborating with the bad people who are occupying or doing bad things to Czech Republic. We are this tiny country in the middle of Europe. We were taken over historically by so many other bigger entities, both in medieval as well as in, in the modern day. And that really unfortunately shaped the mentality into a lot of sort of jealousy and distrust that's connected to success just because even if you were, you were amazing, you would have never become successful if you were not also helping these bad guys who were taking over your country. And that to me is so sad and I'm really hoping it can change and if there's anything I can help do that, I will. Uh, but it's been encouraging to see the change and uh, I think it's on the right path now.